All right, guys, time has come for uh, testing the all clad candy uh, candy paints. Um, I got four, two kinds of blue. Uh, we have electric blue and indigo, and then we have green and red. Um, I think they were out of the orange and the yellow. I would have gotten them all, but uh, you know, this four here, so we'll see what we got. They did have the, the base. Now, they recommend their base. We're going to test it over chrome. I have chrome spoons, so we're going to see the difference. But we're going to go with what they're recommending. This is their uh, bright silver candy base. And they recommend it, obviously. It's their product. But um, we're going to see the difference on, on two uh, on chrome and what theirs is like. We're going to head over to the booth now and put the silver on, some spoons. Um, and we're going to let it sit for a while because it says, uh, it says here to let it sit at least 30 minutes for a full evaporation and one hour before coating. So we got to get this going. So uh, I'll see you over at the booth, and we'll hit it with the, the silver base, and we'll see how it comes out. All right, guys, we're at the booth. It says bare plastic. That's what it says on the bottle. Just spray it onto bare plastic. So we're going to do that without any, uh, any primer. We're going to go by what they're telling us. Make sure the surface is clean, obviously. Um, I rubbed it down, blast it with some air just before you hit it. Oh yeah, this is, it's almost like spraying chrome. Can you see it? It's almost like spraying chrome over white. At first, anyway. It says not to thin it, so I took it straight from the jar in into the airbrush. And it says it will dry to a shine so I'm not gonna go crazy worrying about how it looks you know. that's it so let's get four of these done and move on to the coating I hit it about three inches out 15 to 20 psi they recommend that's what I got it set at this is my point three needle It's going on good. Once I get the first coating, flash it off, air dry it, and then come in a little closer with each each one, and then you go a little slower as you're kind of piling it on at that point. That's it. it goes on really glass smooth really good impressive goes on like their black their gloss black base which I love check that out awesome stuff all their products are great this is no different all right guys I'm gonna get these other two spoons done and uh, we'll hit you back here we're gonna put the the four candy coats and see how they look all right guys um, I had this dry overnight, and uh, they look great. They're smooth. They're not quite chrome, um, which I think is uh, the purpose of this. So we're going to see how these work. And I have these chrome spoons that I got at the dollar store, so we'll see how it looks over chrome also. In one of these colors, I'm going to try it over gold. Um, this is the pale gold, all clad. So I want to see how different one of them looks. Maybe we'll put the red over it. You know, we have four colors. Indigo, electric blue, candy, emerald green, and ruby red. Uh, we're gonna start with this indigo. And uh, I've already uh, put it in the airbrush. It didn't call for any thinning at all, as with all their products. So, it does want me to wait quite a bit, like five minutes between coats. I'm gonna try and see if we can flash dry this thing. And, uh, not go that route it's pretty subtle so far I mean it's turning blue but uh, it's not like the Tamiya or the Mr. series of clears I noticed that already
I know we've got to build these up in layers, so I'm going to do the flash drying so we don't have to wait. Just on the air pressure a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to start going across it a little slower and a little closer. As we can see, it's starting to take shape here. I'm flash drying it, see? This is my first time using their candy, so I'm wondering if it dries completely uh, smooth like their metal lineup does, you know? It's a very good looking blue though. That I will admit. Good looking. I might end up sealing this with that uh, aqua gloss I just got from them, so we'll see how they look at the end. If I do seal it with that, I'll let you guys know. All right, that's one. Beautiful. We'll move on to the green. All right, let me change colors. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead now with the green, uh, emerald green. Uh, we'll do it on the standard spoon. We're going to try it on a chrome spoon, too. I even might put some on a white spoon, maybe. We'll see what the actual tone of the uh, green is by going over white. But make sure the surface is clean on this. Fingerprints will show up, so make sure there's no fingerprints. Bottle says very light coats and they want it to dry. I'm gonna flash dry it for video purposes. But I know their paint's really level. Even though they look dull and rough, they, they, they just they level uh, beautifully. So they probably want you to have it level perfectly between layers. But this is good enough for the video because we want to see the tone of it. If you're actually gonna your kit using it you know take your time it's actually a, a good tone of green it's uh pretty natural looking not so garish looking you know A little more green on my end than it shows on the camera, but it's pretty close. You gotta go by the label on this because the lid doesn't show you all the label, what it actually looks like. But the good thing is it goes on without running, which is uh, a paint with thinner, clear paints. And this doesn't seem to run at all. I'm going to start going in closer and a little slower. There we go. It looks good. Of course, we'll see the finished product. What we're going to do now is check it out on this chrome. It's doing nothing. I think it needs the special base that it calls for. 
and it, well, you know what? We'll do their process. We'll let it. Oh, it's starting to turn a little green. We'll let it go a little bit. We'll try it on some white. <clears throat> see on the white, I can see the characteristic of the paint because I can see what what's happening, how it beads up, if it runs, how it sticks. Try. Let's go back to this one. I got plenty in there, so. No, it works over chrome. It looks pretty good. It tries nice. It has actually makes it look like it's tinted. I like it. I like it over the chrome. I mean, we'll see the difference as to how what they call for over there. Their silver base. That's why I wanted to do it on a piece of chrome so I can see it. Beautiful. We'll let that dry and we'll see that at the end of the result. Let's see how it looks in this white still. It's obviously not going to have that shine. It relies on the base for its shine. A lot faster with my other brands, my Tamir and my Mr. Color Clairs. This seems to be a little longer in its process. Again, it's not supposed to go over white either. I just want to see how it looks. I'm going to start loading it up here, see if we can get it darker. Almost opaque at this point, huh? Yeah. Well, I'll let it dry. They dry completely differently sometimes, and I, I think that's what's going to happen here. So it looks mint almost in the camera, but uh, it's it's green. It's a dark green. All right, guys. Let's move on to the next color. Let me clean out this brush, and we'll move on to uh, the red. All right, guys, next up, uh, oh, oh, yeah, Ruby Red. Back with their uh, their recommended base, which it does look good on the recommended base. So those guys, you know, they know what they're talking about. Make sure this is clean of fingerprints, blemishes. And well, make sure they're both clean. All right. Okay, and I might, I'm going to put this over some gold, too, so we're going to test that. Yeah, well, the, the seems the ruby red is the pigment, the most pigment rich one so far. Look at that. This looks like the winner of the batch so far, as far as coverage. Look at that. All right, we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna go over some gold. Just curious, let that dry a little bit. I had good results in my uh, my candy color shootout. If you guys go haven't seen that, go back and uh, if you subscribe, go on my videos. And I did a huge shootout on uh, every combination I could at the time of the paints that I had of candy colors and bases. And I thought the red, look at it. I mean, I thought the red came out really good. It has that Iron Man uh, tone of red to it. Over gold, you would think the gold would just override it, but it doesn't. It's just, it's just beautiful, you know. Fantastic, huh? Look at that. Let's go back to the, look at that. This is almost purple now compared to over the gold. 
I'm glad I did that now. We can, I can show you guys alternates. All you do on all these colors is you change that base. You change the color of the primer and you're changing the entire uh, look of the color. It's like getting a whole other you know, bottle of paint when, when all you're doing is changing the uh, primer. trying to get as deep as I can that's why I keep going and going that's beautiful all right and got a little bit left in this gun so let's see how it looks over chrome obviously uh, it takes a little bit more Stop there, you just got a pinkish hue. All right, perfect. All right, guys, that was the red one left, it'll be electric blue. Um, I wanted to get two shades of one color, and they, the only color I had two shades of, I believe, was the blue, so I went with that. All right, that was the ruby red, and we'll be back with the last blue. All right, guys, last color, uh, the candy electric blue. The other one was indigo, so I'm hoping this is a, you know, a, quite a bit brighter. We will soon find out. This is over there, silver base. basically frosted at that point. Let's try it over. Chrome spoon. I'll let the other one dry for a little bit. All right, let that sit. Each uh, layer, I like to come in a little closer and a little slower. Looking good, getting there. Back to the chrome. This definitely takes a little more layering than their other products and my other clears. To you know, to be perfectly honest with you. But the results are good. So, I mean, I, I, you, you can't complain. And that's a good size bottle for the price, too. So you, you get your money's worth with this stuff. There we go. This is the electric blue I'm looking for. Beautiful. All right. Now let's go over. It's meant to be over this base, so. Let's 
just see if there's any difference in letting it dry a little more instead of me forcing it to dry, but I really don't see a difference. You know? And if you haven't, as I said, go back and look at my other candy video. You'll see how much faster the other candies go on. Just to pressure a little bit. Plus, I want to see the difference in their two blues, too. I want to see. Mr. Hobby, Mr. Color offers two different clear blues. My conclusion, right, without even going over them yet, is... Uh, I think the red, for some reason, just went on the best. All right, there it is, electric blue. It does look electric blue. So we'll compare that with the chrome and all the others. All right, guys, I'm going to let this thing dry for a couple hours before we, I finish the test and show you the results. So uh, let me let them dry. Uh, I might clear coat one of them to see how a clear works over one of them. So I might do that. And then uh, after all that, I'll meet you back at the bench. All right, guys, we got the results. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, I cleared one because I wanted to see what clear would do to it. And uh, didn't harm it at all. Uh, I tried to look at one. This, you know, The rest don't have any clear. I wanted to see the, the true results. Um, the all of them have at least one on this bright silver base. It uh, even says candy base, so it's their recommendation. So the first one we have here is electric blue. Um, very nice. Yeah, I, I like it. It's even a little more intense than some of my candy colors that I tested. Now this is it over chrome, and it's pretty close. You're going to get a a whole kind of shine difference over chrome and I if you're gonna put over chrome put it over their chrome you know this is just a chrome spoon I got a bunch of these at the dollar store but uh, you've seen their chrome it, it'll probably come out it'll look just like this I think over their chrome um, this is looks more like a plated metal look this actually looks more of a candy paint job look you know but they are close you can see it there um, now here's their blue this is their indigo this is their electric blue. This is indigo. So this is their darker blue. Now I put a clear on this because I wanted to see how it would affect. I figured do it with the two blues because I can compare them. Um, it didn't change it at all. It still looked like this. You know, so that's a bonus. It doesn't change it. You can probably protect it. What you want to do, maybe if you want to put a decal and then clear it, you're probably going to, it's probably not going to affect it at all. Um, but there's two shades of blue right there. Now this is an idea I've been running around. I'm going to do a uh, the custom goof kit two shades of blue let me show you what I'm gonna do with that so yeah, I took this and I divided it in half this has a uh, Tamiya well, let's see well, I'm reaching for it metallic gray so this is the base I use for this this isn't even that shiny you know so that's the base on this spoon so I divided it and then I put a lighter blue and a darker blue on each side because that that's what I want to do I want the goof to have two shades of blue and it's going to be all candied. So maybe I should just go ahead and use the, the all clads. I mean, I've got the two blues right there versus, I think, this uh, this is Mr. Clear. This is their blue, and this is Tamiya's blue. So that's what I did for that. So see that. And then uh, compare it to a little, little more deeper. I, I, the pigment pigmentation is a little bit better, it looks like, on these all clads, if you really look at it. it took a bit more to paint these. You saw me spraying them, and, and it, it took a lot of layers. However, the result reflects that. It just looks great. Look at them. So uh, this, these, these go on quick, easy. And if you have access to these clears, they're just fine. They're fine. 
I, I like all the clears so far. And, and this isn't even over a chrome. This is over this silver. Because what I want to do is, I want to, I want to, this gray. I want to do the whole kit in this gray. And then the joints and whatnot on the goof will be this exposed silver. And then everything else is going to be these two tones. But I might go with this. Because, you know, I like the contrast. It's not uh, com two complete different colors. But uh, more like a deep shade of this. But anyway, those are the two blues. This has a clear coat. Perfect. This doesn't, and, and it's perfect. So, and I think if you take your time, as as the instructions state, five minutes between layers, uh, it might come out even better. I did it quick for the video, and um, I, the results are still good. Now, I think the red is the best. You know? And the green... Um, well, you know what? The green looks great on here. Not so much in here. It could have been me, as I said. I, I, they want you to do these things in, in, a, in a slow layering process. I didn't. However, um, it did come out good here, but I think that's only because it's over a highly shiny surface. But uh, still, this does look good. It, it, it doesn't look uh, uh, too garish looking if you're going to do a, a Gundam with candy green. You know, it's tough to get to green not to look. Now, look at this. This is how it looks over white. And that's that's pretty close. Usually they're completely different when you spray these over a white, and uh, but it's not. It's pretty close. You're just getting the shine to it here, and even more shine over over the, the chrome. That's just my opinion. I, I just think this red came out the best, and this electric blue is is terrific too. Okay, so this is the red over their recommended base, their silver, and it's great. I mean, look at this. It, it feels like it's tough. It's just like glass. It didn't look like this. It dried like this. It just looks... It's just terrific. This is it over chrome. You know, I didn't layer it on as, as thick. But here's what I did with the red. I put it over the pale gold. All clad pale gold. That I did in my previous test. And uh, look at that. Here's another case where I might do two tones. You know, maybe Char's uh, Zaku. In these two-tone reds, you know, look at that. It just it it came out great. So I do like the red the best, and I do like this electric blue. Um, actually, I can't see much bad about this. I think the place was out of yellow, orange. So there's a couple others. Um, when I do another order, I'll get the rest of the the, the clears to show you guys the rest of them. But uh, as of right now, I like I like what I see. It took a little longer to do, and I think it would take me even much longer. Uh, had I not been fin filming it for you guys. So, uh, you know, I, I just want to go one spoon to another. I'm trying to get through a lot of colors. But if I'm just doing red for the day, you take your time. You know, you you, 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 you spray your kit. As the parts get on one layer, you're ready to go with the second layer. You know, so it, it, it's not that bad. It's just a, it's just a flow. It's the flow of it all. But uh, I'm glad I could do these. And uh, I highly recommend them. They're as good as their other stuff. It's just It's just a great company. Um, they just signed a contract. If anybody's watching from overseas, they just signed a distribution contact with Ammo by MIG. So uh, I, I went to order some stuff the other day, and I noticed it said Ammo by MIG's all clad. And then the fine print says all clad is um, Ammo is now the distribution for Europe for all clad. It, it says all clad right on it. It says Ammo by MIG all clad, and it will have the lacquers and the colors just as they do in America. So... Uh, they got a new distribution deal, so maybe worldwide it'll be easy for you guys to get. So that is a good good news story for you guys overseas. And um, I just got this in gloss pale gray base. This is for the shine. I just got in shine aluminum and some of the other shiny uh, uh, metal plates. And I read the I read it. You got to read these instructions. They're not generic for each bottle. They're different for each bottle. And uh, it says on the on the aluminum to use a gloss gray base. I got the dark gray coming in glossy and this is the pale gray it's a little lighter so we're going to do a test on the next batch i got a bunch of new metal all clads into we're going to work on those next and uh, so this just came in today so we're going to see how this gloss base works over their metals as opposed to uh the black that uh they normally call for but anyway here you go if you want to see my other candy video look back uh it's an extensive video it took me a long time to shoot because i did every color over every base and you can compare the difference but um 
these have a more of an intense shine right off the bat without glossing them. I did gloss this, but it ends up looking like these anyway. It, it didn't change it, which is why I want to make sure it didn't change the look of it at all, which is what I was looking for. Um, but that's it. Those are the four colors. Um, uh, I hope you guys uh, give them a shot because I think they're pretty damn good. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, which should be in just a couple of days. Happy model building, guys. We'll talk to you soon.